Hello my amazing, beautiful, wonderful, fantastic friends. Welcome back to my channel. So as you guys can see by the title, I've been wanting to film this video for such a long time and I finally got around to filming it and I filmed a what I eat in a week except I tried to eat from different countries for each day. And this is actually what I eat in a working week which means it's five days. I wanted to do seven days but some things got in the way. I got really sick and then I had a bunch of meetings one day that I didn't have time to like cook and everything. So yeah, it turned into five days. I really apologize but I had so much fun filming this video so I really would like to do a part two part three I don't even know I would like to make this an entire series because this was so so much fun so if you want to see that as well and if you end up enjoying the video please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know but of course if you absolutely hate it despise it despise me you can give it a thumbs down that's okay too and of course you know subscribe for more content while you're certified damsel in distress and also you know make sure to follow your girl on her other forms of social media i really want to get to 10,000 followers on instagram so i can do the swipe up feature this is literally the only thing i want to do on instagram and i also stream on twitch like five to six times a week sometimes i do mukbang sometimes i play games sometimes i just hang out and chat so you know come say hi and hang out with me for a little bit and also in regards to this video all the things that i got were from your comments on one of my previous videos so if any of these are wrong you only have yourself to blame i'm just kidding i'm just Okay. But if any of these are wrong or inaccurate, I truly, truly apologize. You can leave down any criticisms below. And I hope I didn't offend anyone with this video. I just wanted to try different foods from different countries. And of course, this intro is already too long. What else is new? So let's just get on with the video. Wow, that's bright. So it is day one of this challenge where I try to eat like different countries for a week. I'm going to be doing Italian. And apparently a very popular breakfast in Italy is pastries. They're pastries and a cappuccino usually. I cannot have coffee. I can't have cappuccinos. I can't have any of that. Even if it's decaf, I just feel sick. It might be a placebo thing with the decaf, but I feel very ill if I have any coffee. But someone had commented that a typical breakfast they have is a croissant with Nutella. So I was like, that sounds pretty good. Today is gonna be one of those days where I'm gonna try to eat out a bit or order out a bit. There is this Italian place on Uber Eats that that I have been eyeing because whenever I get pasta or pizza, I go to the same place, it's Ground Foods Cafe, amazing, amazing food. But I kinda wanna try something different. So I cut the croissant in half because it's usually stuffed with Nutella. So I cut it in half and I'm gonna toast it for a bit because apparently the croissants in Italy are not the same as the ones in France. Correct me if I'm wrong, I just saw that they're a little bit more tougher. They're usually like toasted a bit more and they're more firm. But yeah, I'm excited for today because I have been really eyeing this place on Uber Eats for a hot minute. I really wanna try it out. Food looks so good. Mm. I personally love like a plain croissant, but with Nutella it sounds pretty good. I'm obviously not gonna be using traditional Nutella. I'm going to be using this Justin's chocolate hazelnut and almond butter as my Nutella. Mm -hmm. I kinda wanna make this like a series. I wanna do a lot of parts to this video because there are so many countries and you guys are from all over the world. And it'd be really cool to try to eat food from all your cultures and all your countries. Okay, croissant is toasted and I don't like a lot of Nutella. I'm not really a fan of like chocolate peanut butters or chocolate nut butters or anything like that. So I'm only gonna do like one half with Nutella. But croissant is very delicate, so it's gonna be hard to spread. I wish I could find vegan stuffed croissants, but that's not a thing, at least by me. Could not find any. What's a savory breakfast for Italy? I really only saw like sweet breakfasts. A lot of pastries, a lot of cappuccinos, that type of thing. This is obviously not the same as getting an actual chocolate or Nutella filled croissant, but it's the closest I can get. Mm. Mm. Oh my god, that's actually so good. It's getting nice and melty in the middle now. Mm. There's something about like the butteriness of the croissant with the sweetness of the hazelnut butter. Mm. I just ordered food. I basically ordered my lunch and my dinner. So for lunch, I asked someone on my Discord who is from Italy, so shout out to them, and I asked them to pick between two different pastas, like which one would be more traditional or more common, I guess. I got some broccoli and mushrooms, and it says, you are beautiful on the tag. How nice is that? I got some basil pomodoro pasta. Oh my God. It's so simple, but it's so good. I might be wrong, but this tastes homemade. Like the sauce. Mmm. Oh yeah, that is phenomenal. 
And then for dinner, which I'm gonna have later, I still wanna, you know, make an order twice. I got pizza. Oh my God, does that not look lovely? Let me get out of the frame because you guys don't wanna see me. You guys wanna see the pizza. Should I try a bite now while it's like fresh and hot? Mmm, it's so light. Mmm. I'm gonna save this for later though. And for now, I'm in the middle of playing Scribdio with my friend. So I'm gonna get back to that while I enjoy my pasta. Mmm. I just added the mushrooms to the pasta. I'm gonna go back to playing now. Good morning. It is noon on the dot. Good afternoon. I woke up a lot earlier today. I feel a lot better. Yesterday I did not film because I felt like absolute garbage. I felt so sick, so nauseous, had the worst headache ever, and I just couldn't keep anything down. It's been like this for the past few days, but yesterday was really bad. But I feel really good today, so that's good. So today's country, today's theme is Germany. And according to one of you guys, a typical breakfast in Germany is muesli. Again, I'm getting all my information, like I said in the intro of this video, from you guys. So I am sorry if any of this is wrong. You only have yourselves to blame. But someone commented that they usually have muesli for breakfast and it's just with some milk. So I am using this fruit and nut muesli and I just poured in some cashew milk and I let it sit while I went to the grocery store to get some things for lunch and for dinner. But yeah, it looks something like this now and we'll see how it tastes. I don't know if I'm gonna have to add anything. It soaked up a lot of the milk. Hmm, I kind of just like it like this. Is that weird? Is it weird to just eat muesli with milk? Hmm, I really like this texture. With the raisins and the almonds. Is there, are there walnuts in here? Mm-hmm, walnuts. It's actually really good. Mmm, maybe I'm back on my oatmeal game. Because muesli, it's kind of like oatmeal, isn't it? I mean, it has oats in it. What's the biggest difference between muesli and oats? It just seems like oats with attitude. Oatmeal with attitude. Mmm, -hmm. this might be a new thing for me. Lunch time. So for lunch, I saw something that was pretty popular was potatoes. Potatoes was a big popular thing. So I'm definitely gonna have some roasted potatoes. I'm gonna throw these in the air fryer. And then I saw sauerkraut was pretty popular. And people basically said it was usually with some kind of meat for lunch. I saw that with sauerkraut, it's usually some type of sausage. So I got a Beyond Meat Beyond Sausage Brat original. I'm not sure what that means. And then to top everything off, some people said brown sauce. I think that means gravy. So I'm just going to use this vegan wild mushroom gravy. What should I season the potatoes with? Is there a specific array of seasonings I should do? So what I usually do, I usually use salt, pepper, garlic powder, and Cajun seasoning. So those are kind of my usual go-to's. Cayenne pepper too. Don't forget to wash your fruit and veg, kids. Cajun with potatoes, oh, chef kiss. And then I'm gonna take this paper towel, cover it like this, and just shake it so all the seasonings can mix together. There we go. And let's do, I usually do like a 22 minutes. 390. So I'm gonna dump everything in a bowl. Potatoes, and then I heated up the sauerkraut and cut up the sausage in here. And I guess I'm just gonna kinda dump it all on top. And the last and final touch. And there it is. It doesn't look that pretty, but I have a very good feeling about this meal. I feel like it's gonna taste fire. I've also just been like snacking on the sauerkraut because <laughs> it tastes so good. Mmm, this sausage is good. I've never had it before. Ha, I'm always burning my mouth. Ha, 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 ha. Oh my God, very hot, but very, very good. Mmm, -hmm. this would also taste really good with rice. Mmm, ha, ha, stop doing that. So for dinner, my German themed dinner, one of you guys had commented noodle salad or noodle salad, I think. I'm pronouncing it wrong, I'm so sorry. But it's basically just German pasta salad. So that sounded pretty tasty. I love pasta in all forms. So I was like, that is right up my alley. So I'm waiting for the water to boil. And as I wait, I'm just going to start making the sauce, I guess. I'm not following this recipe to a T. So I'm just gonna mostly eyeball. Yogurt is the main base. So I'm using this Forger cashew milk yogurt. It's just plain yogurt. So one container of yogurt, and then it says two tablespoons of mayo. 
I'm just gonna go with that much. That's good. That looks fine. And then the recipe called for like baby pickles, but I wanna buy a new jar of pickles when I already have these. So I hope this is okay. And I have to add a little bit of the, the brine and then some mustard. Whoopsies, salt and pepper. Salt, what else? Sugar, some sugar. I'm gonna add that much. I taste it. Mmm, a little bit more. I like the taste of the pickles with it. Italian garlic and fennel plant-based sausages. These are Field Roast brand. It originally calls for bologna, which I, I'm not a fan of bologna, regardless of whether it's vegan or not, so I would have changed it anyway. <laughs> when there's a few minutes left, it says to add some frozen peas. I don't know how much I'm gonna add. I guess I'll just kind of wing it. Whoa! <laughs> Too much. Oopsie daisy. That's okay. We will work with it. We'll work with it. Okay, so I drained the pasta, drained the peas. I added the cut up sausage. And now I'm going to add some cut up pickle and some diced up bell pepper. And then lastly, the sauce. Ooh, it's coming along. It's coming along. And I'm going to pop this in the fridge and then I'll let it sit in there for like 30 minutes. I did not know this. It said it'd be best to wait overnight. I was unaware of that. So it's just gonna have to do for 30 minutes and then I'll be back. Very bad lighting. I always feel like someone's watching me, but it's time to try this. I've let it chill for like 30 minutes. Wait, I actually really like this version. Mmm, this is so good. Oh my God. Wait, I love this. I'm so sorry if I didn't make it like perfect, but this is fantastic. If anyone is German and wants to correct me if I made something wrong, just let me know. Would definitely make again. Today's country is Spain. So someone had commented that a typical Spanish breakfast to have is just some toasted bread with tomatoes and olive oil. Very simple, maybe add some spices. I have like salt and pepper here. I have this sourdough bread, three pieces of sourdough. And I guess I'll just eat this bit. Three pieces, I'm just gonna toast this. I don't know if these are the right tomatoes to use, but um, they're the ones I got. This week is fun. Even if all the things I'm making aren't like super extravagant recipes, it's just nice to try new things. I'm enjoying myself. I think I'm gonna do a part two to this because this is fun and this video wouldn't be possible without you guys so shout out to you okay bread son i know it doesn't look toasted it is a little bit um my toaster is just broken my toaster oven's just broken i really need to get a new one i guess i'll just lay them on like this i don't know if it was supposed to be the other way around like do i do oil first or tomato first we went with this I don't want to put it to the edges because I don't want to get oil on my hands when I'm eating it. I apologize, this probably looks really stupid. <laughs> I just don't want the oil to pour because I don't want to be holding the toast and for my hands to get oily because I hate when my hands get oily. Ugh. So I'm just trying to concentrate it towards the center. And then I'm just gonna add a little bit of salt to each one. Love adding salt to tomatoes. It really like brings out the flavor. And then pepper. I'm excited. I, this is something I would never really have for breakfast. So I'm excited to have it. It's a very simple meal, but it's probably gonna taste really good. Mmm. Wow, it's so refreshing. Mmm. This kind of breakfast makes me want to like eat out on the balcony. Makes me want to live on a farm. I don't know if that makes sense. It makes me want to live on a farm or like a little cottage, you know? Very simple, very quick, very easy, and tasty. It's good in my book. So for lunch, I am going to be making some vegan paella. Paella? I'm sorry if I'm pronouncing that wrong. But first things first, I have to heat up chicken broth. I'm using this no chicken broth. And I'm also going to add some saffron. So this is the saffron I'm using. Well, for that, I'm going to cut up my vegetables. So first things first, we have an onion. Bell pepper. Chopped up tomato. Cajun seasoning. Paprika. And then I have to toast it for one to two minutes. Then I slowly add the broth and bring to a heavy simmer and I cannot stir it. It says specifically do not stir. Ta-da! I think that looks pretty good. It might not 
be perfect. I don't think I have the right pan. I think you're supposed to use a very specific type of pan, uh, which I don't have. I apologize. I got the, the crust that apparently is very important at the bottom of the rice. Oh my God, it smells so good. Here's the finished product. I'm very excited to try it. I've never had anything like this. Mmm. Oh my God, so flavorful. Wow, that is delightful. It's so tasty. Thumbs up. Oh my God, what? <gasps> I wasn't filming that entire time. How did I even do that? Oh my God. Anyway, for dinner, I'm having a tortilla española. Is that pronounced right? Tortilla española. Or a Spanish omelet, Spanish tortilla. I sliced up some potatoes and some red onion. Usually you would use yellow onion or Spanish onion in, according to the recipe, but I didn't have any. I used the rest for my lunch, so I just used red onion. I hope that's okay. And then I sliced the potatoes up like this and I've been cooking it in oil. I seasoned it a bit. And then for the egg part, I'm using some just egg and I mix some seasonings into this. I'm basically gonna try to cook it as much as I can like this, and then I'm gonna put it in the oven and broil it for a little bit. It smells like burning stuff. Like, this isn't burnt, this is fine, but like, I don't know if you guys can see it. You can see, oh frick. I forgot I put this in the oven and I keep burning my hand when I grab it, but I oh, got some stuff on the burner when I was trying to flip it. Oh, it was a lot worse before, I cleaned it up. Thank God I didn't get that on film. That would be a little humiliating. <laughs> There we go. I don't think it came out too bad. <laughs> Maybe Spanish people are screaming right now. I'm trying, I'm trying my best. <laughs> Please remember for majority of these recipes, this is my first time. Oh God. Oh. Hot. <sighs> I mean, taste-wise, it tastes like egg and potato. <laughs> it tastes good. If anyone has any idea on how I can improve, let me know. But I swear, it tastes it tastes good. It tastes good, which is what matters. The amount of times I say that to justify my cooking is getting a little ridiculous. <laughs> hmm. It's good. <laughs> Hello! Today, I am doing Japan, which I am very excited for because my favorite cuisine of all time is just Asian cuisine. Korean and Japan are my favorites, but I love literally all Asian food, so I'm very excited for today. And the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna try to make tamagoyaki, which is just this like egg roll type of thing. Again, I'm using just egg. I hope I have enough. I literally got this pan specifically for this video. You cook it normally and then you roll it add more, roll it, add more, roll it. You get the idea. I've never made this before, but I'm gonna try my best. You know, it seems like an easy process when I watched a video of it, but I'm sure I'll find a way to mess it up because I always do. And I'm also going to be having some vegetables. These are my vegetables of choice. I already have them plated. I just have some spicy bok choy and bean sprouts. And then I'm gonna have some rice and some seaweed soup. I'm just making some seaweed soup with seaweed, obviously, and some tofu. I had just enough egg, rice, and vegetables here. And then I have the tamagoyaki. I don't think they came out half bad. And I have to start streaming soon, so I'm gonna eat this on stream. Okay, I have like a minute before I start stream, so I just want to do a little quick taste test for you guys. Mmm. Mmm, mmm, 10 out of 10. Lunch time. So for lunch, I am making some udon, some udon noodles. And over here I have some vegan chicken broth boiling and I added some shiitake mushrooms towards, like probably when I add the noodles, I'm also gonna add some spinach to that. And then a popular thing to add to udon is either like fish cakes, some type of meat, tofu, tempura, seafood, you know, all kinds of things. The possibilities are endless. So what I'm gonna go with is I'm gonna use these vegan fish fillets. In my head, it was like a mixture of a fish cake and also tempura. Uh, that That's what I came up with in my head. I, and I don't know how it's gonna work out. <laughs> They've just been sitting in my freezer and I am running out of room in my freezer. So let's just finish these up. If you're curious about the udon noodles I'm using, I am using these sanuki udon. And these are actually Korean 
udon. I already had these in the freezer. I'm not gonna go buy a new package of udon noodles. So yeah. To the broth, I also added some soy sauce and some pepper. And then I have the mushrooms. I have the spinach. I think the fish fillets should be about done. Ta-da! Let me do a noodle pull, obviously. Also, I forgot to mention, I'm even wearing my Karasuno jacket for today. Ooh, yes. Mm. Don't worry, I'll mute for the people that don't like slurping. Mm. Oh my god, cooked perfectly. I like when the texture of the noodles is still a little bouncy. Mm. I just took a nap. <laughs> And the game plan was to make curry. I was gonna make a Japanese curry, but I'm too tired. <laughs> I'm so sorry. That was the game plan. Truly, that's what I was gonna do. I got the ingredients and things like that, but maybe I'll try a different time. I'm really tired. <laughs> but I actually found this in the cupboard. Wait a minute, I should check when the expiration date is because I think I got this a long time ago. Oh, shoot. Oh no, I still got a few months. Ooh, ooh, that was a close one, that would've been bad, oh my god. So all I need to do is boil some water and then I throw this in the pot for like three to five minutes and I serve it with some rice. Poured my rice in here. So let's see how this is. Not the most appealing looking meal. I don't think I've ever had Japanese curry before. It's really sweet. Not that spicy. It's supposed to be uh, hot. It says hot. It tastes really mild. It's not bad. I think it's really salty and really sweet. It definitely would have been better if I made my own. I feel like this is a dish you need a lot of rice with to like balance it out. Mm. Like I feel like for each bite of curry, I need a big chunk of rice. That's just me though. Mm. But it's not bad. It's not bad. Dessert time. I used all my little bowls today, so I'm just using this container to hold it. And it, this is taiyaki or a red bean fish cake. It's burning my hand. Mm. Take a shot every time I burn my mouth. So here's the red bean on the inside. That looks kind of gross, but I swear it's really, really good. If you've never had red bean before, I know it can be really intimidating because it's like, it's beans, but... Mmm. It's so good. Mmm. We're getting kind of a late start to the day because <laughs> there was a bug in my bathroom and I tried to kill it and it like jumped off. It, I, I don't know where it went and I jumped. I banged my knees on the floor. I screamed. It's been a rough morning. I didn't even get to kill it. I don't know where it went. So that's, that's good. That's good. Anyway, <laughs> so for today's country, I am doing Iran and I just want to point out that this isn't correct. This is my bad. This is totally my fault. I just went off of someone's comment. They said that they usually have bread with the dates and then they also will have either cucumber and tomato on bread or they will have feta and walnuts on bread. And I thought it was just any bread, but there's like a very, when I looked it up online, I literally looked it up like 10 minutes ago. It's like a very specific looking bread and I really want to apologize that this is not going to be correct because I'm just going to be using some more of this sourdough bread that I got. So again, I am really sorry about that. That's totally my bad. I should have looked it up way earlier. We have feta and walnut. That's a very interesting combination. I don't know if you like spread it. Also for the tomatoes and the cucumber, it didn't say anything about if they add olive oil or anything. I was going to put the tomatoes and the cucumber on it with maybe some seasonings. I also, I don't know if I have to mention this or if I should mention this. I did have some leftover German pasta salad this morning. I just didn't film it because it doesn't go with today's theme. I actually think it'd be really good to take some dates and put it on the, the feta and walnut one. I don't know if you're supposed to eat the dates on the bread, but I think it'd be really good. Kind of like the sweet, savory mixture. <gasps> oh my God. Here's the final product and let's try. Mm, it does have that like sweet and salty combo. I like it. Mm. It's really tasty, really simple. Again, I feel like I did it really wrong, so I'm really sorry. Nonetheless, it's good. Lunch time, I'm going to be making some dill rice. So first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put some oil here, pour some oil, and then I'm gonna add some garlic. Okay, wow, that's a lot of dill. So much dill, oh my gosh. water and then season it with salt and pepper. Then I have to cover this with a lid and cook for about 14 minutes. A little later. Here is my lunch with the dill rice and some beefless tips. I'm not sure what's typically eaten with this, but I thought this would be a good combo. 
Mm. Very simple, super easy, but really good to like spice up your rice, you know? Ha! Huh. Will I ever learn my lesson? Mm. This is super good. Do I do this right? I follow the recipe. Is this too much dill or is it not enough? Feel free to like leave critiques and stuff in the comments below. I just don't want to like offend anyone. If I did it wrong, let me know. You know, be nice about it, but let me know. For dinner, I am making Persian spaghetti, Persian macaroni. Apparently, I saw in this article, correct me if it's wrong, correct me if I'm wrong. It said that in Iran, every type of like pasta is called macaroni. The first thing that I'm doing is I'm cooking the spaghetti. So that's the first thing you gotta do. And then I'm gonna drain this. And then I'm going to cook up some red onion. I don't know if it matters which type of onion I use, but this is the one I have. I'm going to use this Beyond Burger as the minced meat. After I do that, I have to to cover everything in some tomato paste. Let me pull up the recipe that one of you was so kind to leave me. Shout out to you. It sounds like it's gonna taste really good. I'm excited to try this. This looks like a paint tube or something. I've stir fried the onions, I add the meat, stir fried that. Oh my God, that smells really good. And then I just leave it like this. I cover it. Let's just keep it on here for like 10 to 15 minutes and then I'll check on it. That looks so good. Oh my God. I was nervous that I wasn't gonna get the crust that they were talking about, but look at that. Oh my God. <laughs> now let's give this a try. Mmm. Mmm. I don't usually eat spaghetti with a fork. Mmm. Mmm. Oh my God. So tasty. Mmm, yummy, yummy, yummy. Mmm. And that, my friends, is going to conclude this video. Once again, I really hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to give it a thumbs up to let me know. But you know, if you absolutely hated it, uh, you can give it a thumbs down. That's okay too. If there's anything you would like to see on my channel, make sure to leave it in a comment below. And of course, subscribe for more content by yours truly. And before you go, if you haven't already heard it today, you are amazing. You are beautiful, you are wonderful, you are so valid, and I am so, so happy that you are alive. I love you so, so much, and I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.